Which of the following is not a type of drama? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Epic. D. Melodrama. Answer. C. Epic. What is the main characteristic of a tragedy? A. Happy ending. B. Use of satire. C. Serious theme. D. Lighthearted humor. Answer. C. Serious theme. Which type of drama focuses on exaggerated emotions and sensational plots? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Melodrama. D. Farce. Answer. C. Melodrama. What is a farce? A. A serious play with a sad ending. B. A type of musical drama. C. A lighthearted comedy with exaggerated characters and improbable situations. D. A dramatic monologue answer. C. A lighthearted comedy with exaggerated characters and improbable situations. Which of the following is a feature of a comedy? A. Depiction of tragic events. B. Use of humor and satire. C. Focus on serious moral dilemmas. D. Depiction of noble characters. Answer. B. Use of humor and satire. What distinguishes a melodrama from other types of drama? A. Use of music to convey emotions. B. Focus on historical events. C. Overemphasis on plot and action. D. Absence of dialogue. Answer. C. Overemphasis on plot and action. In which type of drama do characters typically speak in verse? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Melodrama. D. Absurdist drama. Answer. A. Tragedy. Which of the following is a feature of absurdist drama? A. Logical plot progression. B. Realistic characters and dialogue. C. Exploration of the meaninglessness of life. D. Happy endings. Answer. C. Exploration of the meaninglessness of life. What is the purpose of a tragicomedy? A. To evoke laughter. B. To explore serious themes in a lighthearted manner. C. To combine elements of tragedy and comedy. D. To depict historical events. Answer. C. To combine elements of tragedy and comedy. Which type of drama is characterized by its focus on the inner thoughts and emotions of characters? A. Expressionism. B. Realism. C. Naturalism. D. Symbolism. Answer. A. Expressionism. Who is considered the author of the epic poem, Beowulf? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. William Shakespeare. C. Unknown. D. Sir Thomas Mallory. Answer. C. Unknown. Which language was primarily used for literary works in the Old English period? A. Latin. B. French. C. Old English, Anglo-Saxon. D. Middle English. Answer. C. Old English, Anglo-Saxon. What is the subject matter of The Wanderer, a poem from the Old English period? A. A Knight's Adventures. B. A Journey to the Underworld. C. Reflections on Exile and Loss. D. A Love Story. Answer. C. Reflections on Exile and Loss. What is a kenning in Old English poetry? A. A type of rhyme scheme. B. A complex metaphorical phrase used in place of a simple noun. C. A type of alliteration. D. A form of Anglo-Saxon dance. Answer. B. A complex metaphorical phrase used in place of a simple noun. Who is the author of The Ecclesiastical History of the English People, a historical work from the Old English period? A. Bede. B. Cademan. C. Alfred the Great. D. Seinwolf. Answer. A. Bede. Which Old English poem features the character Rothgar and the monster Grendel? A. The Dream of the Rood. B. The Seafarer. C. Beowulf. D. Widsith. Answer. C. Beowulf. Which of the following is a characteristic of Old English poetry? A. Rhyme. B. Regular meter. C. Use of epic similes. D. Absence of kennings. Answer. C. Use of epic similes. What historical event marks the end of the Old English period? A. The Norman conquest of England. B. The Viking invasions. C. The establishment of the Anglo-Saxon. Kingdoms. D. The reign of King Alfred the Great. Answer. A. The Norman conquest of England. Which Old English poem is an allegorical retelling of the biblical story of the fall of man? A. The seafarer. B. The wanderer. C. Genesis. D. The dream of the rood. Answer. D. The dream of the rood. What is a scop in Old English literature? A. A type of warrior. B. A poet or bard. C. A religious figure. D. A type of musical instrument. Answer. B. A poet or bard. Who is the author of The Canterbury Tales, a collection of stories from the Middle English period? 
A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. William Langland. C. Thomas Mallory. D. John Gower. Answer. A. Geoffrey Chaucer. Which event marks the beginning of the Middle English period? A. The Norman Conquest of England. B. The Battle of Hastings. C. The Viking Invasions. D. The Signing of the Magna Carta. Answer. A. The Norman Conquest of England. What is the subject matter of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, a poem from the Middle English period? A. The Adventures of a Knight in Search of the Holy Grail. B. A love story between a knight and a lady. C. A challenge faced by Sir Gawain involving a mysterious Green Knight. D. A retelling of the Trojan War. Answer. C. A challenge faced by Sir Gawain involving a mysterious Green Knight. Which of the following is a characteristic of Middle English literature? A. Use of Latin as the primary language. B. Absence of rhyme. C. Emergence of the vernacular English as a literary language. D. Focus on classical themes. Answer. C. Emergence of the vernacular English as a literary language. Who is the protagonist of Pierce Plowman, an allegorical poem from the Middle English period? A. Sir Gawain. B. Pierce the Plowman. C. Everyman. D. Beowulf. Answer. B. Pierce the Plowman. Which of the following works is an example of a medieval morality play? A. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. B. Everyman. C. The Canterbury Tales. D. Beowulf. Answer. B. Everyman. What is a fablio in the context of Middle English literature? A. A type of epic poem. B. A short, humorous, and often body tale. C. A type of medieval romance. D. A form of allegory. Answer. B. A short, humorous, and often body tale. Who is the author of Le Mort d'Arthur, a collection of tales about King Arthur and his knights? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. Sir Thomas Mallory. C. Marie de France. D. William Langland. Answer. B. Sir Thomas Mallory. Which literary device is commonly used in Middle English poetry and involves the repetition of consonant sounds at the beginning of words? A. Alliteration. B. Assonance. C. Consonance. D. Rhyme. Answer. A. Alliteration. What is the significance of the Gutenberg Bible in the history of English literature? A. It is the first printed book in English. B. It is a famous medieval manuscript. C. It is the first book written in Middle English. D. It is a collection of Middle English plays. Answer. A. It is the first printed book in English. What is the subject matter of The Pearl, a poem from the Middle English period? A. A Knight's Quest for a Magical Pearl. B. A Retelling of the Story of Jonah and the Whale. C. A Father's Grief over the Loss of His Daughter. D. A Journey Through the Afterlife. Answer. C. A Father's Grief over the Loss of His Daughter. Who is the author of The Book of Marjorie Kemp, an autobiography from the Middle English period? A. Marjorie Kemp. B. Julian of Norwich. C. Christine de Pizan. D. Lady Mary Roth. Answer. A. Marjorie Kemp. What is the main theme of The Book of the Duchess, a poem by Geoffrey Chaucer? A. Courtly Love. B. The Nature of Dreams. C. The Death of a Loved One. D. A Journey to a Magical Land. Answer. C. The Death of a Loved One. Which of the following is a characteristic of medieval romances? A. A focus on everyday life. B. Complex, realistic characters. C. Magical or supernatural elements. D. Use of the first-person narrative. Answer. C. Magical or supernatural elements. Who is the author of The Vision of Piers Plowman, a long allegorical poem from the Middle English period? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. William Langland. C. John Gower. D. Thomas Mallory. Answer. B. William Langland. What is a chivalric romance? A. A poem about courtly love. B. A story about the adventures of knights. C. A philosophical dialogue. D. A type of medieval drama. Answer. B. A story about the adventures of knights. Which of the following is a characteristic of the morality play, Everyman? A. It is written entirely in Latin. B. It. Features. Allegorical. Representing virtues and vices. C. It is set in ancient Greece. D. It has a tragic ending. Characters. Answer. B. It features allegorical characters representing virtues and vices. What is the significance of The Owl and the Nightingale, a Middle English poem? 
A. It is the first English language poem to use the sonnet form. B. It is an early example of a fablio. C. It is one of the earliest examples of debate poetry in English. D. It is a satirical play. Answer. C. It is one of the earliest examples of debate poetry in English. Who is the protagonist of the Canterbury Tales? A. Chaucer himself. B. The knight. C. The miller. D. The pardoner. Answer. A. Chaucer himself. Which of the following is a common theme in medieval literature? A. Exploration of human psychology. B. Critique of social hierarchies. C. Celebration of individualism. D. Allegiance to feudal values. Answer. D. Allegiance to feudal values. What is the setting of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, a medieval romance poem? A. Camelot. B. Ancient Rome. C. Troy. D. The Green Chapel. Answer. A. Camelot. Who is the central figure in the York play of the Crucifixion, a medieval mystery play? A. Jesus Christ. B. Pontius Pilate. C. Mary Magdalene. D. Judas Iscariot. Answer. A. Jesus Christ. Which of the following is a characteristic of medieval mystery plays? A. They were performed exclusively by professional actors. B. They were based on stories from the Old Testament. C. They were performed in Latin. D. They were staged outdoors and involved the entire community. Answer. D. They were staged outdoors and involved the entire community. Who is the author of The Cloud of Unknowing, a medieval mystical work? A. Julian of Norwich. B. Richard Roll. C. Walter Hilton. D. Unknown. Answer. D. Unknown. What is the theme of The Romance of the Rose, a medieval French poem translated into Middle English? A. Courtly love. B. Chivalry. C. Religious devotion. D. Political satire. Answer. A. Courtly love. Which of the following is a characteristic of medieval fablio? A. They often feature knights and chivalry. B. They are serious and moralistic in tone. C. They typically involve ordinary people in humorous and often body situations. D. They are written in Latin. Answer. C. They typically involve ordinary people in humorous and often body situations. Who is the protagonist of The Tale of Gamelin, a medieval romance? A. Gamelin. B. Sir Gawain. C. King Arthur. D. Robin Hood. Answer. A. Gamelin. What is a key characteristic of the medieval morality play, Everyman? A. It features a protagonist who represents all of humanity. B. It is written entirely in Latin. C. It has a tragic ending. D. It is set in ancient Greece. Answer. A. It features a protagonist who represents all of humanity. Which of the following is a major theme in medieval allegorical literature? A. Critique of feudal society. B. Exploration of human psychology. C. Religious devotion and morality. D. Celebration of individualism. Answer. C. Religious devotion and morality. Who is the author of The Vision of William Concerning Piers the Plowman, a Middle English allegorical poem? A. Geoffrey Chaucer. B. William Langland. C. John Gower. D. Thomas Mallory. Answer. B. William Langland. Who was the monarch during the Elizabethan age? A. King Henry VIII. B. Queen Elizabeth I. C. King James I. D. Queen Mary I. Answer. B. Queen Elizabeth I. Which playwright is often considered the greatest writer of the Elizabethan age? A. Christopher Marlowe. B. Ben Jonson. C. Thomas Kidd. D. William Shakespeare. Answer. D. William Shakespeare. What was the primary form of entertainment during the Elizabethan age? A. Theater. B. Music. C. Jousting. D. Bear baiting. Answer. A. Theater. Which of the following is not a characteristic of Elizabethan drama? A. Use of blank verse. B. Elaborate costumes and staging. C. Focus on historical events. D. Emphasis on realism. Answer. D. Emphasis on realism. What was the name of the acting company with which Shakespeare was associated during the Elizabethan age? A. The King's Men. B. The Lord Chamberlain's Men. C. The Queen's Men. D. The Globe Players. Answer. B. The Lord Chamberlain's Men. Which play is considered Christopher Marlowe's masterpiece and a landmark in Elizabethan drama? A. Dr. Faustus. B. Tamburlaine. C. The Jew of Malta. D. Edward II. Answer. A. Dr. Faustus.
What was the name of the theater where many of Shakespeare's plays were first performed? A. The Rose. B. The Globe. C. The Swan. D. The Curtain. Answer. B. The Globe. Which of the following is a major theme in many of Shakespeare's plays from the Elizabethan age? A. The Supernatural. B. Critique of the Monarchy. C. Exploration of Gender Roles. D. All of the Above. Answer. D. All of the Above. What is the name of the period in English history? That. Elizabethan age. Immediately followed the. A. The Jacobean era. B. The Victorian era. C. The Restoration period. D. The Renaissance. Answer. A. The Jacobean era. Which monarch succeeded Queen Elizabeth I? A. King Henry VIII. B. King James I. C. Queen Mary I. D. Queen Anne. Answer. B. King James I. Which period immediately preceded the Neoclassical Age? A. Elizabethan Age. B. Medieval Period. C. Romantic Period. D. Restoration Period. Answer. D. Restoration Period. Who is often regarded as the central figure of the Neoclassical Age in England? A. John Milton. B. John Dryden. C. Alexander Pope. E. Samuel Johnson. Answer. B. John Dryden. What are the key characteristics of neoclassical literature? A. Emphasis on reason, order, and formal structure. B. Focus on individual emotions and imagination. C. Exploration of the supernatural and exotic. D. Rejection of classical literary forms. Answer. A. Emphasis on reason, order, and formal structure. Which literary form became prominent during the neoclassical age? A. The novel. B. The short story. C. The lyric poem. D. The satire. Answer. A. The novel. Who is the author of the satirical novel, Gulliver's Travels, which is often associated with the neoclassical age? A. Jonathan Swift. B. Daniel Defoe. C. Samuel Richardson. D. Henry Fielding. Answer. A. Jonathan Swift. Which of the following is a key feature of neoclassical poetry? A. Use of elaborate metaphors and symbolism. B. Focus on personal emotions and experiences. C. Emphasis on clarity, restraint, and regularity. D. Exploration of the natural world. Answer. C. Emphasis on clarity, restraint, and regularity. Who is known for his critical work, an essay on criticism, which outlines principles of neoclassical literary criticism? A. Alexander Pope. B. Samuel Johnson. C. John Dryden. D. Jonathan Swift. Answer. A. Alexander Pope. Which of the following literary devices is commonly used in neoclassical poetry? A. Stream of consciousness. B. Free verse. C. Heroic couplets. D. Alliteration. Answer. C. Heroic couplets. What historical event marked the end of the neoclassical age in England? A. The Glorious Revolution. B. The American Revolution. C. The French Revolution. D. The Restoration of the Monarchy. Answer. C. The French Revolution. Which of the following is a key theme in neoclassical literature? A. Nature is a source of inspiration. B. Critique of social injustices. C. Emphasis on the individual's imagination. D. Emulation of classical ideals and forms. Answer. D. Emulation of classical ideals and forms. Which of the following is not a type of drama? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Epic. D. Novel. Answer. D. Novel. What is the main characteristic of a tragedy? A. Happy ending. B. Use of satire. C. Serious theme. D. Lighthearted humor. Answer. C. Serious theme. Which type of drama focuses on exaggerated emotions and sensational plots? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Melodrama. D. Farce. Answer. C. Melodrama. What is a farce? A. A serious play with a sad ending. B. A type of musical drama. C. A lighthearted comedy with exaggerated characters and improbable situations. D. A dramatic monologue answer. C. A lighthearted comedy with exaggerated characters and improbable situations. Which of the following is a feature of a comedy? A. Depiction of tragic events. B. Use of humor and satire. C. Focus on serious moral dilemmas. D. Depiction of noble characters. Answer. B. Use of humor and satire. What distinguishes a melodrama from other types of drama? A. Use of music to convey emotions. 
B. Focus on historical events. C. Overemphasis on plot and action. D. Absence of dialogue. Answer. C. Overemphasis on plot and action. In which type of drama do characters typically speak in verse? A. Tragedy. B. Comedy. C. Melodrama. D. Absurdist drama. Answer. A. Tragedy. Which of the following is a feature of absurdist drama? A. Logical plot progression. B. Realistic characters and dialogue. C. Exploration of the meaninglessness of life. D. Happy endings. Answer. C. Exploration of the meaninglessness of life. What is the purpose of a tragicomedy? A. To evoke laughter. B. To explore serious themes in a lighthearted manner. C. To combine elements of tragedy and comedy. D. To depict historical events. Answer. C. To combine elements of tragedy and comedy. Which type of drama is characterized by its focus on the inner thoughts and emotions of characters? A. Expressionism. B. Realism. C. Naturalism. D. Symbolism. Answer. A. Expressionism. Which of the following statements best describes the difference between tragedy and comedy? A. Tragedy focuses on the downfall of a noble protagonist, while comedy explores humorous situations and happy endings. B. Tragedy is always serious, while comedy is always lighthearted. C. Tragedy uses rhyme, while comedy does not. D. Tragedy is only performed in theaters, while comedy can be performed in any setting. Answer. A. Tragedy focuses on the downfall of a noble protagonist, while comedy explores humorous situations and happy endings. How does farce differ from other types of comedy? A. Farce is more serious and intellectual. B. Farce uses exaggerated characters and improbable situations for humorous effect. C. Farce is always based on true stories. D. Farce is typically performed outdoors. Answer. B. Farce uses exaggerated characters and improbable situations for humorous effect. Which of the following is a characteristic of tragicomedy? A. Tragic endings. B. Exploration of serious themes with no comedic elements. C. Use of slapstick humor. D. Combination of tragic and comedic elements. Answer. D. Combination of tragic and comedic elements. How does melodrama differ from tragedy? A. Melodrama uses music to convey emotions, while tragedy does not. B. Melodrama focuses on exaggerated emotions and sensational plots, while tragedy explores serious themes. C. Melodrama always ends in tragedy, while tragedy can have various endings. D. Melodrama is always performed as a musical, while tragedy is not. Answer. B. Melodrama focuses on exaggerated emotions and sensational plots, while tragedy explores serious themes. What is the primary focus of a problem play? A. Resolving a complex issue or moral dilemma. B. Providing lighthearted entertainment. C. Exploring historical events. D. Critiquing social norms. Answer. A. Resolving a complex issue or moral dilemma. Which of the following is a characteristic of comedy of manners? A. Use of physical humor. B. Focus on the behavior and foibles of the upper class. C. Exploration of existential themes. D. Tragic endings. Answer. B. Focus on the behavior and foibles of the upper class. How does satire differ from other types of comedy? A. Satire is always lighthearted, while other comedies can be serious. B. Satire uses humor to criticize and ridicule human vices or social institutions. C. Satire is always performed in a satirical tone, while other comedies are not. D. Satire does not use humor at all. Answer. B. Satire uses humor to criticize and ridicule human vices or social institutions. Which of the following best describes the difference between classical tragedy and modern tragedy? A. Classical tragedy focuses on the downfall of a noble character due to a fatal flaw, while modern tragedy often explores the impact of societal forces or personal circumstances on individuals. B. Classical tragedy always ends in death, while modern tragedy can have various outcomes. C. Classical tragedy is set in ancient times, while modern tragedy is set in contemporary times. D. Classical tragedy uses elaborate staging and costumes, while modern tragedy uses minimalistic sets and costumes. Answer. A. Classical tragedy focuses on the downfall of a noble character due to a fatal flaw, while modern tragedy often explores the impact of societal forces or personal circumstances on individuals.
How does surrealism in drama differ from other forms of drama? A. Surrealism uses dreamlike imagery and illogical elements to explore the subconscious mind, while other forms of drama focus on realistic portrayals of life. B. Surrealism is always lighthearted and humorous, while other forms of drama can be serious. C. Surrealism is always performed in an abstract setting, while other forms of drama are set in realistic environments. D. Surrealism does not use dialogue, while other forms of drama rely heavily on dialogue. Answer. A. Surrealism uses dreamlike imagery and illogical elements to explore the subconscious mind, while other forms of drama focus on realistic portrayals of life. What distinguishes epic theater from other forms of theater? A. Epic theater uses epic poems as its source material, while other forms of theater use novels or short stories. B. Epic theater aims to provoke social and political change through audience engagement and critical thinking, while other forms of theater focus on entertainment. C. Epic theater is always performed outdoors, while other forms of theater are performed indoors. D. Epic theater does not use actors, while other forms of theater do. Answer. B. Epic theater aims to provoke social and political change through audience engagement and critical thinking, while other forms of theater focus on entertainment. How does tragicomedy differ from other forms of drama that combine tragic and comedic elements? A. Tragicomedy always ends in tragedy, while other forms of drama can have various endings. B. Tragicomedy uses a mix of tragic and comedic elements throughout the play, while other forms of drama separate these elements into distinct parts. C. Tragicomedy is always performed as a musical, while other forms of drama are not. D. Tragicomedy is set in ancient times, while other forms of drama are set in contemporary times. Answer. B. Tragicomedy uses a mix of tragic and comedic elements throughout the play, while other forms of drama separate these elements into distinct parts. Which of the following best describes the primary focus of theater of the absurd? A. Theater of the absurd uses absurd and illogical situations to explore the meaninglessness of life and the breakdown of communication b theater of the absurd always ends in a tragic outcome while other forms of drama can have various endings c theater of the absurd is always performed in an abstract setting while other forms of drama are set in realistic environments d theater of the absurd does not use dialogue while other forms of drama rely heavily on dialogue answer a theater of the absurd uses absurd and illogical situations to explore the meaninglessness of life and the breakdown of communication. Which of the following is a characteristic of no drama, a traditional Japanese form of theater? A. Use of elaborate costumes and masks B. Emphasis on realistic dialogue C. Focus on complex character development D. Use of extensive stage props Answer. A. Use of elaborate costumes and masks. How does kabuki theater differ from no theater in Japan? A. Kabuki theater focuses on serious and philosophical themes, while no theater is more lighthearted and comedic. B. Kabuki theater uses elaborate and stylized gestures and movements, while no theater is more naturalistic. C. Kabuki theater is performed exclusively by male actors, while no theater can have both male and female performers. D. Kabuki theater is always performed outdoors, while no theater is performed indoors. Answer. B. Kabuki theater uses elaborate and stylized gestures and movements, while no theater is more naturalistic. What distinguishes Sanskrit drama from other forms of Indian drama? A. Sanskrit drama is always performed as a musical, while other forms of Indian drama are not. B. Sanskrit drama follows a strict set of rules for structure, language, and characterization, while other forms of Indian drama are more flexible. C. Sanskrit drama is always performed in ancient temples, while other forms of Indian drama are performed in theaters. D. Sanskrit drama focuses exclusively on historical events, while other forms of Indian drama explore a variety of themes. Answer. B. Sanskrit drama follows a strict set of rules for structure, language, and characterization, while other forms of Indian drama are more flexible. How does Beijing opera, or Peking opera, differ from traditional Western opera? A. Beijing opera uses elaborate costumes and makeup, while Western opera focuses more on vocal performance. B. Beijing opera is always performed in outdoor venues, while Western opera is typically performed indoors. 
See, Beijing opera uses a combination of singing, acting, and acrobatics, while Western opera focuses primarily on singing. D. Beijing opera is exclusively performed by male actors, while Western opera can have both male and female performers. Answer. C. Beijing opera uses a combination of singing, acting, and acrobatics, while Western opera focuses primarily on singing. What is a key characteristic of Commedia dell'arte, a form of Italian theater from the Renaissance period? A. Use of scripted dialogue. B. Emphasis on elaborate sets and costumes. C. Improvisation based on stock characters and scenarios. D. Focus on complex plot twists and turns. Answer. C. Improvisation based on stock characters and scenarios. Which of the following is a key characteristic of Greek tragedy? A. Use of elaborate costumes and makeup. B. Focus on individual characters and their personal struggles. C. Inclusion of musical performances. D. Exploration of universal themes and moral dilemmas. Answer. D. Exploration of universal themes and moral dilemmas. How does Commedia dell'arte differ from traditional Western theater? A. Commedia dell'arte uses scripted dialogue, while traditional Western theater relies on improvisation. B. Commedia dell'arte focuses on realistic portrayals of life, while traditional Western theater often uses stylized and exaggerated characters. C. Commedia dell'arte is always performed outdoors, while traditional Western theater is typically performed indoors. D. Commedia dell'arte uses stock characters and scenarios, while traditional Western theater emphasizes originality and creativity. Answer. D. Commedia dell'arte uses stock characters and scenarios, while traditional Western theater emphasizes originality and creativity. What distinguishes the traditional Chinese opera form known as kunku from other Chinese opera styles? A. Kunku uses elaborate costumes and makeup, while other styles focus more on vocal performance. B. Kunku is known for its lyrical and poetic language, while other styles use more colloquial language. C. Kunku is always performed in outdoor venues, while other styles are typically performed indoors. D. Kunku is exclusively performed by male actors, while other styles can have both male and female performers. Answer. B. Kunku is known for its lyrical and poet language, while other styles use more colloquial language. How does the structure of a traditional Indian Sanskrit drama differ from Western drama? A. Sanskrit drama does not have a defined structure, while Western drama follows a strict three-act structure. B. Sanskrit drama includes musical interludes and dance sequences, while Western drama focuses solely on dialogue. C. Sanskrit drama is always performed in open-air theaters, while Western drama is typically performed indoors. D. Sanskrit drama uses elaborate stage sets, while Western drama relies more on the actors' performances. Answer. B. Sanskrit drama includes musical interludes and dance sequences, while Western drama focuses solely on dialogue. What is a key characteristic of Spanish Golden Age drama, particularly the works of playwrights like Lope de Vega and Calderón de la Barca? A. Use of minimalist staging. B. Exploration of complex psychological themes. C. Inclusion of musical numbers. D. Emphasis on poetic language and wordplay. Answer. D. Emphasis on poetic language and wordplay. Which of the following best describes a tragedy? A. A play that ends with a happy resolution. B. A play that explores serious and often tragic themes, often involving the downfall of the protagonist. C. A play that uses humor and satire to criticize societal norms. D. A play that focuses on the romantic relationships of the characters. Answer. B. A play that explores serious and often tragic themes, often involving the downfall of the protagonist. What is a comedy of manners? A. A play that focuses on the behavior and foibles of the upper class. B. A play that uses physical humor and exaggerated situations for comedic effect. C. A play that explores serious moral and ethical dilemmas. D. A play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy. Answer. A. A play that focuses on the behavior and foibles of the upper class. What distinguishes a farce from other types of comedy? A. Farce is always set in exotic locations. B. Farce uses exaggerated characters and improbable situations for comedic effect. C. Farce always ends in tragedy. D. Farce is performed without dialogue. Answer. B. Farce uses exaggerated characters and improbable situations for comedic effect. Which of the following is a characteristic of a melodrama?
A. Use of minimalistic sets and costumes. B. Focus on complex character development. C. Overemphasis on plot and action, often with exaggerated emotions. D. Exploration of philosophical themes. Answer. C. Overemphasis on plot and action, often with exaggerated emotions. What is a tragicomedy? A. A play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy. B. A play that focuses on tragic events with no comedic elements. C. A play that uses humor and satire to critique societal norms. D. A play that explores the romantic relationships of the characters. Answer. A. A play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy. How does a historical play differ from other types of drama? A. Historical plays are always set in ancient times. B. Historical plays focus on real historical events and figures. C. Historical plays use elaborate costumes and sets. D. Historical plays are always performed outdoors. Answer. B. Historical plays focus on real historical events and figures. What is a problem play? A. A play that explores complex philosophical questions. B. A play that uses humor and satire to critique societal norms. C. A play that focuses on resolving a complex issue or moral dilemma. D. A play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy. Answer. C. A play that focuses on resolving a complex issue or moral dilemma. How does a satire differ from other types of comedy? A. Satire uses humor to critique and ridicule societal norms and institutions. B. Satire always ends in tragedy. C. Satire is performed without dialogue. D. Satire focuses on physical humor and exaggerated situations. Answer. A. Satire uses humor to critique and ridicule societal norms and institutions. Absurdist play. Characterized by its portrayal of characters in situations where they are unable to find any inherent purpose in life, often depicting the absurdity of the human condition. Examples include Samuel Beckett's, Waiting for Godot, and Eugene Ionesco's, The Bald Soprano. Experimental play. A play that challenges traditional, theatrical, conventions, often incorporating unconventional staging, narrative structures, or audience interactions. Examples include The Performance Group by Richard Schechner and A Doll's House, Part 2 Inches by Lucas Knoth. Eco Theater, a form of theater that focuses on environmental issues, often incorporating elements of activism and advocacy. Examples include The Great Immensity by The Civilians and The Children by Lucy Kirkwood. Biographical Play, a play that dramatizes the life of a real person or historical figure. Examples include Frost Nixon by Peter Morgan and End of the Rainbow by Peter Quilter. Metatheater, a play that draws attention to its own theatricality, often breaking the fourth wall or commenting on the nature of theater itself. Examples include Six Characters in Search of An Author by Luigi Pirandello and The Real Inspector Hound, by Tom Stoppard. Interface Theater, a style of theater that is confrontational, provocative, and often graphic in its portrayal of violence or other intense themes. Examples include, Blasted, by Sarah Kane and Shopping and Fucking, by Mark Ravenhill. Verbatim Theater, a form of documentary theater where the script is constructed from the exact words spoken by real people in interviews or public speeches. Examples include, the Laramie Project, by Moises Kaufman and London Road, by Alecky Blythe and Adam Cork. Puppet Theater, a form of theater where puppets are used as the primary performers, often with puppeteers visible on stage. Examples include Avenue Q, by Robert Lopez and Jeff Marks and War Horse, by Michael Morpurgo. Playback Theater, a form of improvisational theater where audience members share personal stories and experiences, which are then reenacted by the performers on stage. The stories are played back, without interpretation or analysis, often leading to a shared emotional experience between the storyteller and the audience. Promenade theater, a style of theater where the audience moves around with the performers, experiencing the play in different locations or settings. This can create a more immersive and interactive theatrical experience. Digital theater, a type of theater that incorporates digital technology, such as virtual reality, augmented reality, or interactive digital elements, into the performance. This can create innovative and multimedia-rich theatrical experiences. Immersive theater, similar to promenade theater, 
Immersive theater seeks to create a more immersive and interactive experience for the audience, often blurring the lines between performer and spectator. Audience members may be invited to participate in the action or explore the performance space freely. Site-specific theater. A form of theater that is specifically created to be performed in a non-traditional space, such as an abandoned building, a park, or a historical site. The location often plays a significant role in shaping the performance and the audience's experience. Live art. A hybrid form of performance art that combines elements of theater, visual art, and multimedia. Live art often blurs the boundaries between different art forms and can be highly experimental and unconventional in its approach. Interactive theater. A type of theater that actively engages the audience in the performance, often allowing them to influence the direction of the narrative or interact with the characters. This can create a dynamic and participatory theatrical experience. Biomechanics Theater, developed by Russian director Sevalid Meyerhold. Biomechanics is a system of actor training and performance that emphasizes physical exercises, gestures, and movements to express character and emotion. It focuses on the actor's body as a highly expressive tool. Core Theater, coined by Polish theater practitioner Jerzy Grotowski, core theater refers to a minimalist approach to theater that strips away elaborate sets, costumes, and props, focusing instead on the actor's physical presence and the relationship between performer and audience. Plays within a play. This type of play features one or more instances where characters perform a play as part of the main narrative. This technique is often used to comment on the main themes of the play or to provide a meta-theatrical element. Physical theater. Physical theater emphasizes the use of the body as a primary means of storytelling, often incorporating elements of dance, mime, and acrobatics. It focuses on nonverbal communication and the expressive potential of the body in performance. Theater of Cruelty Developed by French playwright and director Antonin Artaud, Theater of Cruelty seeks to shock and provoke the audience by exploring the darker aspects of human experience. It often involves intense physical and emotional performances and aims to break down the barriers between performer and spectator. Forum Theater. Developed by Brazilian theater practitioner Augusto Boal, Forum Theater is a form of interactive theater where audience members are invited to intervene in the performance, suggesting different actions or outcomes to explore solutions to social or political issues depicted in the play. Playback Theater a form of improvisational theater where audience members share personal stories, which are then spontaneously reenacted by the performers. The stories are played back, without interpretation, allowing for a direct and immediate reflection of the audience's experiences. Tribal theater. Tribal theater draws on indigenous performance traditions from around the world, often incorporating rituals, music, and storytelling techniques unique to specific cultures. It aims to preserve and celebrate traditional forms of expression. These types of plays offer a diverse range of approaches to theater. Radio play. A play specifically written to be performed on the radio, often relying heavily on sound effects and voice acting to convey the story. Radio plays were popular before the advent of television and are still produced today as a form of audio entertainment. Shadow play. Also known as shadow puppetry, this form of theater uses flat articulated figures, shadow puppets, that are held between a source of light and a translucent screen. The shadows cast by the puppets create a visual performance that can be accompanied by music or narration. Digital theater, a form of theater that incorporates digital technology, such as projection mapping, virtual reality, or interactive digital elements, into the performance. This can create immersive and innovative theatrical experiences that blend the physical and digital worlds. Environmental theater, a type of theater that takes place in non-traditional performance spaces, such as parks, streets, or buildings, and often incorporates the surrounding environment into the performance. Environmental theater seeks to create a more immersive and site-specific theatrical experience. Dance theater, a form of performance that combines elements of dance and theater, often incorporating spoken word, music, and visual elements. Dance theater can be highly expressive and can explore a wide range of themes and emotions through movement and choreography. Verbatim theater, a form of documentary theater where the script is constructed from the exact words spoken by real people in interviews or public speeches. Verbatim theater seeks to present real-life stories and experiences in a theatrical format, often highlighting social or political issues. Digital storytelling, a form of narrative that uses digital media, such as video, audio, or interactive elements, to tell a story. 
Digital Storytelling can be used in theater to create innovative and multimedia-rich performances engage audiences in new ways. Intercultural theater Theater that combines elements of different cultural traditions, often exploring themes of cultural identity, migration, and globalization. Intercultural theater seeks to create dialogue and understanding between different cultures through the medium of performance. Who is the author of the play, Macbeth? A. William Shakespeare. B. Christopher Marlowe. C. Ben Johnson. D. John Milton. Answer. A. William Shakespeare. Which of the following plays by Oscar Wilde is a comedy of manners? A. The Importance of Being Earnest. B. Salome. C. An Ideal Husband. D. A Woman of No Importance. Answer. A. The Importance of Being Earnest. Who is the protagonist of the play, Hamlet? A. Othello. B. Macbeth. C. Hamlet. D. King Lear. Answer. C. Hamlet. What is the setting of Tennessee Williams's play, A Streetcar Named Desire? A. New York City. B. New Orleans. C. Chicago. D. Los Angeles. Answer. B. New Orleans. Who is the tragic hero in Arthur Miller's play, Death of a Salesman? A. Willie Loman. B. Biff Loman. C. Linda Loman. D. Happy Loman. Answer. A. Willie Loman. Which of the following plays by Harold Pinter features a complex power struggle between two characters in a single room? A. The Birthday Party. B. The Homecoming. C. Betrayal. D. The Caretaker. Answer. B. The Homecoming. Who is the author of the play, Waiting for Godot, which is considered a classic of the theater of the absurd? A. Samuel Beckett. B. Eugene Ionesco. C. Jean-Paul Sartre. D. Albert Camus. Answer. A. Samuel Beckett. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy about the Moorish general Othello? A. Othello. B. King Lear. C. Romeo and Juliet. D. Julius Caesar. Answer. A. Othello. Who is the author of the play, Pygmalion, which explores issues of class and identity? A. George Bernard Shaw B. J. M. Singh C. Sean O'Casey D. Oscar Wilde Answer. A. George Bernard Shaw. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a romantic comedy featuring the characters Benedict and Beatrice? A. Twelfth Night. B. Much Ado About Nothing. C. As You Like It. D. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. Answer. B. Much Ado About Nothing. Who is the author of the play, The Duchess of Malfi, a tragic play about a noblewoman who marries beneath her status? A. Christopher Marlowe. B. Ben Johnson. C. John Webster. D. Thomas Middleton. Answer. C. John Webster. Which of Shakespeare's plays features the characters Rosalind, Orlando, and Jacques, and is set primarily in the Forest of Arden? A. Twelfth Night. B. As You Like It. C. The Tempest. D. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. Answer. B. As You Like It. Who is the author of the play, The Cherry Orchard, a classic of Russian theater that explores themes of social change and the decline of the aristocracy? A. Anton Chekhov. B. Ivan Turgenev. C. Alexander Ostrovsky. D. Maxim Gorky. Answer. A. Anton Chekhov. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a historical tragedy about the rise and fall of the Roman leader Julius Caesar? A. Julius Caesar. B. Antony and Cleopatra. C. Coriolanus. D. Titus Andronicus. Answer. A. Julius Caesar. Who is the author of the play? The Glass Menagerie, a memory play that explores the lives of the Wingfield family. A. Tennessee Williams. B. Arthur Miller. C. Eugene O'Neill. D. Lorraine Hansberry. Answer. A. Tennessee Williams. Which of Shakespeare's plays features the characters Viola, Olivia, and Orsino, and is known for its exploration of gender roles and identity? A. Twelfth Night. B. The Merchant of Venice. C. Measure for Measure. D. Troilus and Cressida. Answer. A. Twelfth Night. Who is the author of the play, A Doll's House, which is considered a landmark in feminist literature for its portrayal of a woman seeking independence from her oppressive marriage? A. Henrik Ibsen. B. August Strindberg. C. Luigi Pirandello. D. Anton Chekhov. Answer. A. Henrik Ibsen. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Hermia, Helena, Lysander, and Demetrius, and is set in a magical forest. A. The Taming of the Shrew. B. Love's Labor's Lost. C. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. D. Much Ado About Nothing.
Answer. C. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. Who is the author of the play, The Seagull, a classic of Russian theater that explores themes of love, art, and the search for meaning? A. Anton Chekhov. B. Ivan Turgenev. C. Maxim Gorky. D. Alexander Ostrovsky. Answer. A. Anton Chekhov. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Oberon, Titania, and Puck, and is set a magical woodland realm? A. Twelfth Night. B. The Tempest. C. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. D. As You Like It. Answer. C. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. Who is the author of the play, The Birthday Party, which explores themes of identity and the nature of reality? A. Harold Pinter. B. Tom Stoppard. C. Edward Albee. D. Samuel Beckett. Answer. A. Harold Pinter. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragicomedy that features the characters Perdita, Florizel, and Autolycus, and is set in the kingdom of Sicilia and the land of Bohemia? A. The Winter's Tale. B. Cymbeline. C. All's Well That Ends Well. D. The Two Noble Kinsmen. Answer. A. The Winter's Tale. Who is the author of the play, The Homecoming, which features a family reunion that takes a dark and unsettling turn? A. Harold Pinter. B. Tom Stoppard. C. Edward Albee. D. David Mamet. Answer. A. Harold Pinter. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Troilus, Cressida, and Achilles, and is set during the Trojan War? A. Troilus and Cressida. B. Coriolanus. C. Titus Andronicus. D. Timon of Athens. Answer. A. Troilus and Cressida. Who is the author of the play? Top Girls, which explores themes of feminism, gender roles, and the challenges faced by women in the workplace. A. Carol Churchill. B. Sarah Kane. C. Timberlake Wharton Baker. D. Moira Buffini. Answer. A. Carol Churchill. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Proteus, Julia, and Sylvia, and is set in the cities of Verona and Milan? A. The Comedy of Errors. B. The Two Gentlemen of Verona. C. Love's Labor's Lost. D. The Merry Wives of Windsor. Answer. B. The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Who is the author of the play, Cloud Nine, which explores themes of colonialism, gender, and sexuality through a nonlinear narrative and cross-gender casting? A. Carol Churchill. B. Sarah Kane. C. Timberlake Wharton Baker. D. Moira Buffini. Answer. A. Carol Churchill. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Coriolanus, Volumnia, and Ophidius, and is set in ancient Rome? A. Coriolanus. B. Antony and Cleopatra. C. Titus Andronicus. D. Timon of Athens. Answer. A. Coriolanus. Who is the author of the play, Machinal, which is based on the true story of a woman who murders her husband and explores themes of societal pressure and conformity? A. Sophie Treadwell. B. Lillian Hellman. C. Susan Glassbell. D. Beth Henley. Answer. A. Sophie Treadwell. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Rosencrantz, Guildenstern, and the player King, and is set in the court of Denmark? A. Hamlet. B. King Lear. C. Macbeth. D. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Answer. D. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Who is the author of the play? The Playboy of the Western World, a comedy that sparked controversy upon its premiere for its portrayal of Irish rural life. A. J. M. Singh. B. Sean O'Casey. C. George Bernard Shaw. D. Brendan Behan. Answer. A. J. M. Singh. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Mark Antony, Cleopatra, and Octavius Caesar, and is set in ancient Egypt and Rome? A. Julius Caesar. B. Antony and Cleopatra. C. Coriolanus. D. Titus Andronicus. Answer. B. Antony and Cleopatra. Hoy's the author of the play, The Ruling Class, a dark comedy that satirizes British class hierarchy and features a protagonist who believes himself to be Jesus Christ. A. Peter Schaefer. B. Harold Pinter. C. Tom Stoppard. D. Alan Akeborn. Answer. A. Peter Schaefer. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Helena, Demetrius, and Hermia, and is set in a fantastical woodland inhabited by fairies? A. The Tempest. B. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. C. Twelfth Night. D. As You Like It. Answer. B. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. 
who is the author of the play, The Good Person of Sichuan, which explores themes of morality and social responsibility through the story of a woman who must struggle to remain good in a corrupt world. A. Bertolt Brecht B. Friedrich Dürrenmatt C. Max Frisch D. Franz Xaver Kroetz Answer. A. Bertolt Brecht Which of Shakespeare's plays is a history play that features the characters Henry V, Falstaff, and Prince Hal, and is set during the Hundred Years' War between England and France? A. Henry IV, Part 1 inch B. Henry IV, Part 2 inches C. Henry V, D. Richard II, Answer, C. Henry V. Who is the author of the play, The Birthday Party, which is known for its enigmatic plot and unsettling atmosphere? A. Harold Pinter. B. Tom Stoppard. C. Edward Albee. D. Samuel Beckett. Answer, A. Harold Pinter. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Shylock, Portia, and Bassanio, and explores themes of prejudice and mercy? A. Twelfth Night. B. The Merchant of Venice. C. Much Ado About Nothing. D. The Taming of the Shrew. Answer. B. The Merchant of Venice. Who is the author of the play, The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui, a satirical allegory of Adolf Hitler's rise to power set in Chicago in the 1930s? A. Bertolt Brecht. B. Friedrich Dürrenmatt. C. Max Frisch. D. Franz Xaver Kroetz. Answer. A. Bertolt Brecht. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Lear, Cordelia, and the Fool, and is set in ancient Britain? A. Hamlet. B. King Lear. C. Macbeth. D. Othello. Answer. B. King Lear. Who is the author of the play, The Master Builder, which explores themes of ambition, power, and artistic creation? A. Henrik Ibsen. B. August Strindberg. C. Anton Chekhov. D. Luigi Pirandello. Answer. A. Henrik Ibsen. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Macbeth, Lady Macbeth, and the Three Witches, and is set in medieval Scotland? A. Macbeth. B. King Lear. C. Othello. D. Romeo and Juliet. Answer. A. Macbeth. Who is the author of the play, The Hairy Ape, which explores themes of class struggle and identity through the story of a brutish laborer who feels alienated from society? A. Eugene O'Neill. B. Tennessee Williams. C. Arthur Miller. D. Lorraine Hansberry. Answer. A. Eugene O'Neill. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Petruchio, Katharina Kate, and Bianca, and is set in Padua, Italy? A. The Taming of the Shrew. B. Love's Labor's Lost. C. Much Ado About Nothing. D. The Comedy of Errors. Answer. A. The Taming of the Shrew. Who is the author of the play, Mother Courage and Her Children, which follows the story of a canteen woman who profits from war but loses her children to its brutality? A. Bertolt Brecht. B. Friedrich Dürrenmatt. C. Max Frisch. D. Franz Xaver Kroetz. Answer. A. Bertolt Brecht. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Rosalind, Celia, and Orlando, and is set primarily in the Forest of Arden? A. Twelfth Night. B. As You Like It. C. The Tempest. D. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Answer. B. As You Like It. Who is the author of the play? The Visit, which explores themes of justice, revenge, and morality through the story of a wealthy woman who offers a fortune to her impoverished hometown in exchange for a deadly act. A. Friedrich Dürrenmatt. B. Bertolt Brecht. C. Max Frisch. D. Franz Xaver Kroetz. Answer. A. Friedrich Dürrenmatt. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Prospero, Miranda, and Caliban, and is set on a remote island? A. The Tempest. B. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. C. Twelfth Night. D. As You Like It. Answer. A. The Tempest. Who is the author of the play, The Iceman Cometh, a drama that delves into the lives of a group of alcoholics and dreamers who frequent a bar in New York City? A. Eugene O'Neill. B. Tennessee Williams. C. Arthur Miller. D. Lorraine Hansberry. Answer. A. Eugene O'Neill. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Malvolio, Sir Toby Belch, and Viola, and is set in the Kingdom of Illyria? A. Twelfth Night. B. Much Ado About Nothing. C. The Merchant of Venice. D. The Taming of the Shrew. Answer. A. Twelfth Night. Who is the author of the play, Arcadia, which explores themes of mathematics, science, and chaos theory alongside themes of love and romanticism? 
A. Tom Stoppard. B. Harold Pinter. C. David Mamet. D. Alan Akeborn. Answer. A. Tom Stoppard. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Antonio, Sebastian, and Viola, and is set in the kingdom of Illyria? A. Twelfth Night. B. The Tempest. C. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. D. As You Like It. Answer. A. Twelfth Night. Who is the author of the play, The Dance of Death, a darkly comic drama that explores themes of marriage, infidelity, and mortality? A. August Strindberg. B. Henrik Ibsen. C. Anton Chekhov. D. Luigi Pirandello. Answer. A. August Strindberg. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Olivia, Orsino, and Sebastian, and is set in the kingdom of Illyria? A. Twelfth Night. B. As You Like It. C. The Merchant of Venice. D. A. Midsummer Night's Dream. Answer. A. Twelfth Night. Who is the author of the play? The Plough and the Stars, which is set during the Easter Rising in Dublin in 1916 and explores themes of nationalism and sacrifice. A. Sean O'Casey. B. J. M. Singh. C. George Bernard Shaw. D. Brendan Behan. Answer. A. Sean O'Casey. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a comedy that features the characters Beatrice, Benedict, and Don Pedro, and is set in the Italian city of Messina? A. Twelfth Night. B. Much Ado About Nothing. C. The Comedy of Errors. D. The Tempest. Answer. B. Much Ado About Nothing. Who is the author of the play, The Caretaker, which explores themes of identity, power, and the human condition through the interactions of three characters living in a dilapidated house? A. Harold Pinter. B. Tom Stoppard. C. Edward Albee. D. Samuel Beckett. Answer. A. Harold Pinter. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a history play that features the characters Richard III, Buckingham, and Lady Anne, and is set during the Wars of the Roses? A. Henry IV, Part 1. B. Henry IV, Part 2 Inches. C. Richard II. D. Richard III. Answer. D. Richard III. Who is the author of the play, The Effect of Gamma Rays on Man in the Moon Marigolds, which explores themes of abuse, survival, and the power of science? A. Paul Zindel. B. Arthur Miller. C. Tennessee Williams. D. Edward Albee. Answer. A. Paul Zindel. Which of Shakespeare's plays is a tragedy that features the characters Titus Andronicus, Tamora, and Aaron the Moor, and is set during the latter days of the Roman Empire? A. Julius Caesar. B. Coriolanus. C. Titus Andronicus. D. Timon of Athens. Answer. C. Titus Andronicus. Arrange the following plays by Arthur Miller in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Death of a Salesman. B. The Crucible. C. A View from the Bridge. D. All My Sons. Answer. D. All My Sons. A. Death of a Salesman. B. The Crucible. C. A View from the Bridge. Put these plays by Samuel Beckett in order of their first publication, from earliest to latest. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. D. Crap's Last Tape. Answer. D. Crap's Last Tape. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. Arrange the following plays by Harold Pinter in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. The Caretaker. B. The Homecoming. C. Betrayal. D. Old Times. Answer. A. The Caretaker. B. The Homecoming. C. Betrayal. D. Old Times. Put these plays by Tennessee Williams in order of their original Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Answer. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Arrange the following plays by George Bernard Shaw in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. Pygmalion. B. Mrs. Warren's Profession. C. Major Barbara. D. St. Joan. Answer. B. Mrs. Warren's Profession. A. Pygmalion. C. Major Barbara. D. St. Joan. Put these plays by David Mamet in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Glengarry Glen Ross. B. American Buffalo. C. Speed the Plow. D. Oleana. Answer. B. American Buffalo, A. Glengarry Glen Ross, C. Speed the Plow, D. Oleana. 
Arrange the following plays by Tom Stoppard in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. B. Arcadia. C. The Coast of Utopia. D. The Real Thing. Answer. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. D. The Real Thing. B. Arcadia. C. The Coast of Utopia. Put these plays by Eugene O'Neill in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Long Day's Journey into Night. B. The Iceman Cometh. C. Desire Under the Elms. D. Strange Interlude. Answer. D. Strange Interlude. C. Desire Under the Elms. B. The Iceman Cometh. A. Long Day's Journey into Night. Arrange the following plays by Anton Chekhov in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Answer. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Put these plays by Bertolt Brecht in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. Mother Courage and Her Children. B. The Threepenny Opera. C. The Caucasian Chalk Circle. D. The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui. Answer. B. The Threepenny Opera. A. Mother Courage and Her Children. C. The Caucasian Chalk Circle. D. The Resistible Rise of Arturo Ui. Arrange the following plays by Christopher Marlowe in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Tamburlaine. B. Dr. Faustus. C. The Jew of Malta. D. Edward II. Answer. A. Tamburlaine. B. Dr. Faustus. C. The Jew of Malta. D. Edward II. Put these plays by Oscar Wilde in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Lady Windermere's Fan. B. A. Woman of No Importance. C. An Ideal Husband. D. The Importance of Being Earnest. Answer. A. Lady Windermere's Fan, B. A. Woman of No Importance, C. An Ideal Husband, D. The Importance of Being Earnest. Arrange the following plays by Lorraine Hansberry in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. A. Raisin in the Sun. B. The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window. C. Les Blancs. D. The Drinking Gourd. Answer. A. A. Raisin in the Sun, B. The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window, C. Les Blancs, D. The Drinking Gourd. Put these plays by Edward Albee in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? B. The Zoo Story. C. A. Delicate Balance. D. Three Tall Women. Answer. B. The Zoo Story. A. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? C. A. Delicate Balance. D. Three Tall Women. Arrange the following plays by Jean-Paul Sartre in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. No Exit. B. The Flies. C. Dirty Hands. D. The Condemned of Altona. Answer. B. The Flies. C. Dirty Hands. A. No Exit. D. The Condemned of Altona. Put these plays by Henrik Ibsen in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. A. Doll's House. B. Ghosts. C. Hedda Gabler. D. The Master Builder. Answer. A. A. Doll's House. B. Ghosts. C. Hedda Gabler. D. The Master Builder. Arrange the following plays by August Wilson in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Fences. B. The Piano Lesson. C. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. D. The Seven Guitars. Answer. C. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. A. Fences. B. The Piano Lesson. D. The Seven Guitars. Put these plays by Tom Stoppard in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. B. Arcadia. C. The Invention of Love. D. Rock and Roll. Answer. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. C. The Invention of Love. B. Arcadia. D. Rock and Roll. Arrange the following plays by Arthur Miller in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. All My Sons. B. Death of a Salesman. C. The Crucible. D. A View from the Bridge. Answer. A. All My Sons. B. Death of a Salesman, C. The Crucible, D. A View from the Bridge. Put these plays by George Bernard Shaw in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. Mrs. Warren's Profession. B. Pygmalion. C. Major Barbara. D. St. Joan. Answer. A. Mrs. Warren's Profession, B. Pygmalion, C. Major Barbara, D. St. Joan. 
Arrange the following plays by Anton Chekhov in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Answer. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Put these plays by Harold Pinter in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. The Birthday Party. B. The Caretaker. C. The Homecoming. D. Betrayal. Answer. A. The Birthday Party. B. The Caretaker. C. The Homecoming. D. Betrayal. Arrange the following plays by Tennessee Williams in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Answer. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Put these plays by Samuel Beckett in order of their first publication, from earliest to latest. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. D. Crap's Last Tape. Answer. D. Crap's Last Tape. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. Arrange the following plays by David Mamet in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Glengarry Glen Ross. B. American Buffalo. C. Speed the Plow. D. Oleana. Answer. B. American Buffalo, A. Glengarry Glen Ross, C. Speed the Plow, D. Oleana. Arrange the following plays by Christopher Marlowe in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Tamburlaine. B. Dr. Faustus. C. The Jew of Malta. D. Edward II. Answer. A. Tamburlaine, B. Dr. Faustus, C. The Jew of Malta, D. Edward II. Put these plays by Oscar Wilde in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Lady Windermere's Fan. B. A Woman of No Importance. C. An Ideal Husband. D. The Importance of Being Earnest. Answer. A. Lady Windermere's Fan. B. A Woman of No Importance. C. An Ideal Husband. D. The Importance of Being Earnest. Arrange the following plays by Lorraine Hansberry in order of their Broadway premiere. From earliest to latest. A. A Raisin in the Sun. B. The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window. C. Les Blancs. D. The Drinking Gourd. Answer. A. A Raisin in the Sun. B. The Sign in Sidney Brewstein's Window. C. Les Blancs. D. The Drinking Gourd. Put these plays by Edward Albee in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. B. The Zoo Story. C. A Delicate Balance. D. Three Tall Women. Answer. B. The Zoo Story. A. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. C. A. Delicate Balance. D. Three Tall Women. Arrange the following plays by Jean-Paul Sartre in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. No Exit. B. The Flies. C. Dirty Hands. D. The Condemned of Altona. Answer. B. The Flies. C. Dirty Hands. A. No. Exit. D. The Condemned of Altona. Put these plays by Henrik Ibsen in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. A. Doll's House. B. Ghosts. C. Hedda Gabler. D. The Master Builder. Answer. A. A. Doll's House. B. Ghosts. C. Hedda Gabler. D. The Master Builder. Arrange the following plays by August Wilson in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Fences. B. The Piano Lesson. C. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. D. The Seven Guitars. Answer. C. Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. A. Fences. B. The Piano Lesson. D. The Seven Guitars. Put these plays by Tom Stoppard in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. B. Arcadia. C. The Invention of Love. D. Rock and Roll. Answer. A. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. C. The Invention of Love. B. Arcadia. D. Rock and Roll. Arrange the following plays by Arthur Miller in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. All My Sons. B. Death of a Salesman. C. The Crucible. D. A View from the Bridge. Answer. A. All My Sons. B. Death of a Salesman. C. The Crucible. D. A View from the Bridge. Put these plays by George Bernard Shaw in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. Mrs. Warren's Profession. B. Pygmalion. C. Major Barbara. 
D. Saint Joan. Answer. A. Mrs. Warren's profession. B. Pygmalion. C. Major Barbara. D. Saint Joan. Arrange the following plays by Anton Chekhov in order of their first production, from earliest to latest. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Answer. A. The Seagull. B. Uncle Vanya. C. Three Sisters. D. The Cherry Orchard. Put these plays by Harold Pinter in order of their first performance, from earliest to latest. A. The Birthday Party. B. The Caretaker. C. The Homecoming. D. Betrayal. Answer. A. The Birthday Party. B. The Caretaker. C. The Homecoming. D. Betrayal. Arrange the following plays by Tennessee Williams in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Answer. A. The Glass Menagerie. B. A Streetcar Named Desire. C. Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. D. Sweet Bird of Youth. Put these plays by Samuel Beckett in order of their first publication, from earliest to latest. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. D. Crap's Last Tape. Answer. D. Crap's Last Tape. A. Waiting for Godot. B. Endgame. C. Happy Days. Arrange the following plays by David Mamet in order of their Broadway premiere, from earliest to latest. A. Glengarry Glen Ross. B. American Buffalo. C. Speed the Plow. D. Oleana. Answer. B. American Buffalo. A. Glengarry Glen Ross. C. Speed the Plow. D. Oleana.